of the U.S. empire uh, in the region uh, since it's been founded. Um, right. There's been seven uh, countries in Latin America that has um, have broken diplomatic ties um, with Venezuela. Right. Um, and uh, this is uh, because they have a centrist leaning or right wing governance. Uh, um, uh, you know, the, like the uh, Javier Millet's, uh, and the ones who are speaking uh, outly, uh, being anti-communist, anti-socialist, uh, um, and uh, you know they've got problems at, at home uh, that they're causing through neoliberalism uh, with the people in, in the streets, uh, uh, and uh, the <clears throat> the situation is uh, getting worse in in the Latin American hemisphere. Um, yeah, like yeah. real quick. Um, what 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 I want people that are listening to understand what what Paulo is saying is that there is a Western coalition that are denouncing the legitimacy of the election, and you have an organization like the AOS, the o, the OAS, um, which they have always said that it wasn't right. But at the end, at the end of the day, when you look at the evidence of the investigators and the in the election investigators. They have always shown, especially Jimmy Carter has has talked about this as well, that Venezuela has one of the most transparent elections in any other country in the world. You get a receipt in Venezuela. And the reason why the receipt is so important, because you can show and backtrack how the votes go. That's why you see the opposition, the opposition parties. They're only posting numbers with no factual evidence to back up what they're saying. They still haven't shown any evidence they all they've been saying is oh we have 71 percent of the vote no you don't where's your evidence for that no you don't then you got elon musk with his idiot self just oh i'm coming for you maduro blah 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 blah. that state violence he's threatening he benefited off the lithium when bolivia was cooled and they killed hundreds of indigenous people for lithium so i i take it very seriously when you see a billionaire like elon musk Say I'm coming for you, Maduro. He's threatening to overthrow a government and kill people just so he can have their resources. This is the dumbest, <laughs> the dumbest narrative I have ever heard in my life. And I don't mean to get real angry, but it, like this is serious. The, people think it's a joke. It's not a joke. He wants to be a dictator himself, Elon. He, he's out here capping for the Israelis. Literally, Israelis out here getting exposed, and he's just still loving everything they're doing, ignoring everything. That man is not for the people; he's for himself. But, um, but yeah, like you were saying. <laughs> yeah, well, the problem is, is that uh, Elon Musk is a, an actual dictator. Uh, yeah. He's the real dictator, an oligarch. Um, and uh, here in the United States, in the belly of the beast, we are under the rule of the rich, the ruling class, um, and. It's very difficult to overturn it, but uh, we are working towards that uh, revolution. Um, and you know, there, there are so many um, people, desperate people, um, um, and uh, they're facing under the sanctions. Um, a, a quarter of the world's uh, population uh, lives under countries that are uh, under uh, these uh, illegally imposed sanctions, um, whether it's in Nicaragua, Cuba, or in Venezuela, or other parts of the world. Um, these are sanctions that are putting people into uh, um, you know, starvation, uh, facing a similar uh, problems, that, um, well, similar humanitarian crisis as in uh, Palestine. Um, and uh, Palestine is even worse because they're facing a, an ongoing genocide, um, and uh, the, the people are continuing to resist. Um, and we've seen uh, Latin America uh, showing their solidarity through and through uh, every time. Uh, just recently, at the, in Nicaragua, uh, in the on the 45th anniversary of the Sandinista Revolution, um, they had uh, uh, the revolutionary uh, freedom fighter uh, Leila Khaled um, uh, do a speech uh, a tour, uh, Venice, um, a tour in Venezuela, toward Nicaragua, uh, and uh, she was uh, received very much uh, well. Um, uh, she's a popular figure. Um, the PFLT and the FSLN have a long uh, history uh, working together uh, in the past century. Um, it, it's it's uh, <laughs> that's why it was really important for her to to be um, received in, in Nicaragua. 
um, 